YouTube, it's me, it's me, it's favorite Steve. How you doing? It is Monday. Um, I'll go through my weekend sales. What's gone out today, or what's going out today, slash tomorrow, because I ain't gonna get all this packed. I, I kind of have, I do send a few bits first class. Um, I'll try and get the majority of it done, but it's just a nightmare. I'll get it. It's best me doing it like because the kids finish school at half two, three, and then trying to get anything done is a freaking nightmare. So I try and pack up stuff like when they've gone to bed, and then it, it's ready for the next day. Then if some like you know, I kind of give myself a rule. If there's any more than five that we've got to go first class, I've got to get it done today. I won't send any more than five first class, and it won't go any more than a day over. Um, but anyway, let's go through them. So right, we'll go with the badges first. Still, still got the badges. What we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven badges going out. So what we got? We have a UCF daffodil, daffodil appeal badge. Again, I don't know why I did this because I might as well just hold it here. Because it makes app. Where's the? There we go. Makes absolutely zero difference. Um, what you can see, but that one went for two forty nine. That cost me eighteen p. Uh, we have. I've got loads of these, so it's good to see the back of one of these. I'm oh, saying two available. I must have sold some. Um, again, it's this the lamp. It's going to fall down the back and how it is. See if that works. No. It's just a breast cancer ribbon one. That one went for $249. We have an Eden project. It's going to some P8. Some P in a garden. Eden project badge. That one for $399. So what's that? Two fifty, two fifty. It's a fiver, three ninety nine, nine. Then we got a GCC rabbit in a hat one. That went for two oh nine. So that's eleven. I'm trying to justify me selling badges. That's eleven quid. Do, do, do. Uh, then we have keep going, keep going. We have a. Handmade felt green purple flower brooch pin badge. Someone's paid two seventy nine for that. So we'll give it two quid. It's thirteen quid. So thirteen seventy nine. We'll give it. Uh, then we've got another three ninety nine one. Another ribbon. The top hat. Was seventeen. Go on. And then we've got a Great Ormond Street Jeans for Jeans. That one went for 3 99 as well. So what's that? 22 quid, we'll say. So 22, 22 pounds worth of badges. Oh, and it was... Yeah, I forgot to tell you what I paid for them. So that's 22 pounds worth of badges. We'll go through the clothing. Ugh. Where are we at? Where are we at? There we go. We've got a New York Mets Majestic Man Men's David Wright. So it's got Wright number five on the back. And then it's just kind of a you know a merchandise t-shirt. So that um that one went for a tenner. That cost me four ninety nine originally. So yeah, that was four ninety nine went for a tenner. Oh we've got a WWE one. A WWE thingy t-shirt. Not a thingy, it's a t-shirt. So it's WWE Triple H. I am the game. But it's a 2017 t-shirt. It's a, it's a kind of a rehashed one, I think. So it's got I am the game on the front. And then what's it got on the back? Because I am... That damn good. Took me a while. 
So because I am that temp damn good. So I think this would have been a top that would have been out in the 90s. But then I think they've redone it in 2017. It's got the 2017 number on there. They're £3.50, so it would have... And it's gone for £6.99. So it's not um, not really worth anything. I've added just double the money on it. So we have... Ooh, a... Yeah, so th because they're just placed in bags at the minute before I pack them up, these aren't in any order. Do, do, do. Come on. So we've got a G Star Raw Arc 3D stand jacket, men's sleeveless blue denim jacket. Uh, so this one cost me £8.25 and it went for £25.20. It's the G Star sleeveless jacket. Uh, we have some mint velvet. A mint velvet star jumper. So I think this again. I'm not going to go into the thirty percent. I think this was on a thirty percent discount, um, but I've took thirteen quid. I, I, it doesn't really tell you on here. It doesn't. Some of them doesn't on there. Um, but yeah, just the mint velvet star jumper. I don't think it's wool or anything, so I would have put that in the title. Uh, but this cost me a fiver. It's gone for thirteen. What to do? Phase eight. Think. There we go. Phase eight. We've got a phase eight grey and white striped button up blazer jacket. So if you can hear cats running around, that one went for sixteen ninety nine, and it cost me six. Don't jump on my shit. Damn kittens. This one's literally just sold. I should have saved this for Wednesdays. But I thought I might as well get it. This one went for 22 quid. It cost 4 99 uh, The photos are really bad on this. Um, yeah, the photos are really bad on this. Uh, but yeah, Phase 8 Cashmere Blend this was. Uh, that one went for 22 quid. That's 4 99 The cat, the cat drove me inside. They're just all around here, and it's because I'm here. But it's just the second I'm doing anything. Uh, we sold a couple of leather motorcycle trousers. Um, these were reduced on a 30%. Um, and then I might have took some offers. So, the, yeah, these are some Frank Thomas Lady Rider leather motorcycle trousers. Well, there we are. Uh, they cost me £10. They went for £25. Um, they might, it, doesn't tell, it doesn't tell you on here at all. They might, I might, they might have been in a sales video earlier, to be fair. But you might have seen them yesterday in your world, maybe. Uh, oh, this was on the same thing. BHS Gentleman's Country Clothing Harris Tweed Men's 100% Wool Jacket. Uh, this one, £6. Again, Harris Tweed, I think it depends on what the brand is. The BHS ones weren't going for that much. So, yeah, that went for 20 quid. Uh, it cost me 6 Well, Some more motorcycle trousers. So, again, some... Some stuff shifting because I've got a sale on at the minute, which I don't mind. Still getting double, double the profit. I've said it before. I'm not a storage unit, so that one I'm talking about. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at, homie? There we go. A keto women's leather trousers. These one for twenty quid. So I'd say they were probably originally on for thirty or something. I don't know. They cost me a ten, and I've gone for twenty. Again, I just don't, I just don't want them. You know, if if they're here for three months and people aren't biting at the price I'm going for, for the love of God, um, I'll you know I'm happily I'll happily reduce the price. Uh, what's this one? Um, I think this is like a golden T-shirt. I think. 
Yeah, this is a golden t-shirt. Evil Dead, the art of Rick Melton. Um, I, again, I think I've made up the price on this because I think the price was so low on the soles. Um, but it's just got an Evil Dead picture on there. Um, yeah, it's a golden t-shirt. It went for five ninety nine. It cost me three forty nine. It's not been listed for very long, though. Right? Just it's hard when you're going by the prices that are there. Then that's gone. And then the last bit of clothing is a Paul Smith's T-shirt. I went for 16 quid and it cost me six. So sorry if I'm not giving you the original prices of what I'm going for. But if you've watched them and you remember something and you go, you were saying you were going to go 40 quid on that. And you sold it for 20. Why? Shift again. Hey. I didn't throw a bag at the cat, I promise. Messing with my shit. Right, um, the more bulky stuff. We have a Zafari uh, plush. I didn't throw a bag at the cat. Then. He was nowhere, she was nowhere near it. Just as soon as I get my stuff out, I've got to mess with it. Whoa, where we at? Where we at? Where we at, homie? Where we at? There we go. DreamWorks Safari Pokey Plush Soft Toy Peacock Giraffe because it's a peacock slash giraffe Safari Zoo 2020 Cuddly. The keywords are amazing. So this cost me £2.29. It went for £7.99. Uh, we've got some otters. Now these were really pretty but the, the name wasn't worth that much. Um, it's a cat on a scratch ball. Just, it, what happens? What they're around me for ages, wanting to get fed. So I fed them because I was like, I need to do a video. So I fed the the cats. But now what's happened is it sends them mental. So now they're mad. I just need I need to time it better. Uh, so these cost me six. These were originally on for twenty. I know that. Um, Hotter Antoinette. So they're nice, nice little shoes. They were size three though. So these went for fifteen. They cost me six. Come uh, here. Show this so I don't break it. We've got a Tony Woods Ginger Tabby Cat um, teapot. God damn cats. Leave them more cats. Well, I suppose they are mine. Just try me insane. I have to deal. I have to deal. <coughs> That's probably fluff. I have to freaking deal with them more than my wife. Just stare like there's at least one like most days just staring at me. Feed me. Feed me. Alright, where are you? There we go. Tony Wood Studio. These heads. Tony Wood Studio. Pussyfoot Decorative Ginger Tabby Cat. Uh, this one went for twenty four ninety nine. It cost me four. Uh, I've smashed one of these heads before, so I've got to be careful. I'm just trying to make sure a cat don't freaking run into them. Uh, we've got some Hotters. These were a pair that have been on for over a year. Um, they weren't shifting. So I've reduced the price. Well, I think what I did... What, what name are they? Uh, I can't see. So they're, yeah, Hotter Sugars. If you go Hotter Sugars, they're probably worth, um, you know, 25, 30 quid. But because they're a size 3, they're not worth that much. So the I've reduced them. I've, I've done a by colour search, size search, because they've been on for a year, um, $9.99. Uh, they originally cost me three seventy five. so yeah, they've gone for a tenner. Oh, we've got a little, as you can see, that's the main one, but we've got a little lampshade of goodies here. I just do not put that there. Right, let's just, what we've we got? Let's find a bit to that. Because that's going to stay with that. That's going to stay here. Let me put this on my lap. 
So we have a Batman penguin figure from Arkham Asylum or whichever one it was. I think it's Arkham City actually. I think it might be Arkham City. Arkham City. So yeah, it's Arkham City the Penguin. This cost me £2.45. The woman in the shop thought it was Gru from the Minions. Um, so yeah, £2.45. That went for £12.99 with the hat and the umbrella. I'll keep that there because I'll end up losing the pieces to that. I know I will. Um, what's in these in the video recently? These were some weightlifting gloves which I picked up and they weren't worth anything. Uh, so RDX F11 black and white camouflage white gloves that went for seven quid that cost me four uh, Yeah, this one I picked up two of these before it's a little um, Is it Dutch or Swedish? I think I put Dutch a little bell Come on, there we go. Dutch brass cowbell with strap. Um, cost me two quid. It's gone for a fiver. So look, so I mean, all these add up, bad. You know what I mean? There's there's ones with double figures profit, but they end up adding up. Still kind of investing your money and then getting it back. Kind of thing. So Funko Pop. So the Funko Pop Rocky Horror Show and um, Magenta. So this cost me three quid in like a kids section. It went for nineteen ninety nine. So well happy with that. And then this isn't the last of the stuff, but um, inside this light shade. Why are you making a noise, computer? Why are you making a noise? Oh God, I'm trying to find stuff on these laptops and all that. Do do do. There we go, Tiffany style lampshade, uh, cost me two ninety five. that went for 30 squid, well happy with that one. So let's put all you little bits back in here. See what that went for 30? Let me lift you up here. Uh, we've got a Disney mug. Um, look, got villains on there. I don't know the names. Not good with Disney names. Um, yo, where's it gone? Yeah, so it's got villains. It's got Malnificent, Ursula. I don't know which ones the names are. But this cost me three quid. It went for a tenner. I think it was on for 15. Uh, oh, this one was a, a nice sound. Um, it's a little inkwell. I think I mentioned before in videos. Um, I thought this was an ashtray. So I thought you put the cigar there and then you put your ash in there. But it's an inkwell apparently. So yeah, uh, this was on for 40 quid. And it was reduced on a 30%. So it's gone for 27.99 now. Which I still think that's all right. Because I think it cost me three ninety nine. Oh god, you always think you think it's right up there, you think it's at the top, and then that. So that went for twenty seven ninety nine and it cost me three ninety nine when on the thirty percent. Uh this one I got this recently. It's like an Egyptian they advertised it in the well actually no, not in the charity shop. I think it was um when I searched it, they called it like an alternative bell. But I didn't advertise it as a bell. I might have put bell in there. Oh, God, it's not. Oh. Yeah, made in. Keep thinking it's at the top, it's at the top, oh, it's at the bottom. Yeah, so this cost me four quid. It wasn't really worth anything. I put it on for seven ninety nine. It's gone for seven ninety nine. Um, but wasn't hanging about for very long. So yeah, that went for eight. Uh, this one, I know I lost money on this one because this was reduced. Um, and I, it's the the only item out of these that I lost money on because of fees. So this went for a fiver. All it is is just a little 
Maruna style um, bottle stopper. It's a modern. Um, but yeah, 449 it went for a five. I've lost money on fees on that one. And then the last item um, is this little drunk man figurine. Um, it's, I think it's a cognac bottle or a rum bottle. So the lid comes off there. Um, thought it'd be worth more, but it wasn't really. It was it, there was a lot louds in the charity shop of drunken figurines, and my wife was with me at the time. She was like, "I'll oh, just buy it. it looks nice." But yeah, four ninety nine. That cost me. It went for sixteen ninety nine. It's a nice little, nice little figurine. So yeah, so it, it all adds up. You know what I mean? It all adds up. It all adds up. So yeah, those are my um, sales that are going out today from the weekend. Um, you know, the Funko figure was double profit. The Inkwell was double profit. The I think one of the leather motorcycle trousers was double profit. Um, double figures profit. That's what I'm trying to say. What else was there? Four. Um, Harry's tweed jacket was double profit. Uh, fade, a couple of phase eights for double profit, double figures profit. So, look, I aim for double figures profit, but obviously, most things don't go for double figures profit. The Tiffany Light Shade, that was a good one. The Tony Wood, um, G Star Jacket. So, yeah, you know, you win some, you lose some, eh? But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Sorry about my wife's mess on the side, she's a freaking. You care. But for now, peace out. Stay safe, stay beautiful, and I'll see you in my next video.